You don't have to know the difference between an AC or DC current to see how many electric vehicles are sharing the road with you. They are the fastest growing part of the car business right now, but as our on your side investigator Jonathan Hardison finds, Alabama has miles to go before we provide the kind of charging resources other states have for EVs. Just tickle to death to have them in our city. Montevallo's mayor isn't describing a new business or hundreds of jobs. He's talking about this, a new level two EV charging station that just opened in downtown Montevallo, a development he thinks could bring more visitors and the money that comes with them. Well, this you'll catch, you know, people that are maybe coming to an event or, or just uh, a lot of folks don't like to drive on the interstate. They like taking back roads and we have a uh, Highway 119 and Highway 25 that actually go through our city. And uh, we do have a lot of traffic, you know, on it. And um, we'll, uh, you know, get, get people coming to your town. While Montevallo joins the growing list of EV charging stations across Alabama, new data from our Investigate TV team finds our state lags behind others in providing the charging infrastructure EV drivers count on. As of the end of last year, Alabama ranked 31st in the number of EVs of any state, but 38th when it comes to charging stations. And if you break it down to the number of EVs per charging station, we rank 28th and the demand is growing. The number of EVs in Alabama jumped 84% from 2021 to 2022. That's the 12th fastest growth in the country. If you go back two or three years, you can see that that number is close to doubling every year. And through our research partners that we have, that number will continue to grow exponentially. As more rebates, as more incentives are offered to customers, that really does stimulate the adoption rate. Now, not all chargers are equal. Level two chargers like this one in Montevallo can fully charge your EV in three to six hours. Level three chargers can get you from dead battery to 80% charged in 15 minutes. Alabama now has almost 1,100 of these level two or three chargers with the goal of having one every 50 miles on the interstate within one mile of the exit. It's one of those, if you will build it, they will yeah, come yeah. Uh, type concepts. So yeah, as, as our numbers continue to rise year over year, the charger investments are taking place uh, throughout our state. The state will spend more than $80 million in federal funds over the next five years making that happen and trying to fill in what are current charging deserts along the more rural routes so many of you love to drive, like Montevallo. People are traveling, let's say, from Huntsville to Mobile, and uh, they're needing a spot to charge, and they'll go, they'll look on their app and go, I've always wanted to go to Montevallo, and, and they have electric charger, and I can go there and charge my vehicle and eat at their fine restaurants or, you know, shop in their stores. Jonathan Hardison, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.